I know many of you have been waiting patiently for me to do this video, like I said. And when I saw the post that I made on my community tab about the emails that I get, I get a lot of emails daily. So it's impossible for me to catch every last story. And, you know, who knows? I might actually come across the story you sent me and I might do it. But this story right here, of course, many people have been waiting for me to talk about. And I'm going to get on the Neil deGrasse, um, the Neil deGrasse, the, the um, Neil Tyson one as well. Um, so we had the situation with Kareem Hunt. I'm going to find the video and put that in the description because I don't want to get any kind of copyright stuff for some reason. Whenever I post a video and attach it to the video itself and have it play, TMZ always comes with some kind of copyright claim. And I'm not trying to deal with that. So I'm going to just play it so you can have the video in the description. So basically what happened is back in February of this year, you had Kareem Hunt, who was a 21 year old, um, now former football player for the Kansas City Chiefs, who went out and had, you know, a good time, like most young, um, 20 people, people who are in their early 20s tend to do, especially if you are playing for a NFL team. Go, it tends to do. Some girls spot them, you know, him and some of his friends, you know, end up hooking up with them, quote unquote, and they managed to carry them back to the hotel in which they were uh, at. And the girls happened to be white. Now, notice I'm saying girls. I didn't say women. I said girls, which means these girls most likely were underage, but they probably put on enough makeup to make themselves appear older. So, you know, one thing leads to another, but then Kareem Hunt notices something is kind of off about these girls and he wants them pretty much to leave they get into an altercation as you can see right here in this video in both pictures and then you know all hell pretty much breaks loose right there in that hallway on this video camera and shout out to true Real family because she managed to play the entire um clip so i'm going based off of what she had posted up earlier today and one thing that stuck out to me was when they were talking to the girl who pointed, who was the one who was able to point out Kareem Hunt when the police were talking to her. Now, she had all these crocodile tears going on in her eyes the whole time. But the minute that they asked her who was the guy that pushed you or assaulted you or whatever it was, them tears dried up real fast. And she was like, his name is Kareem, Kareem Hunt. And then when they did that and she went right back into crying i said she knew how to cry on cue that's why that's why people like that you have to really keep your eye out on you got to really keep your eye out on then they went and got his side of the story he was saying that the n-word was used say um i believe they said that they were underage she came back trying to get in he wouldn't let her in then you know one thing led to another if you've seen the video clip you know exactly what happened and, you know, they get into an altercation and fists get thrown. I believe they said he kicked her and a whole bunch of other stuff. I said that part right there doesn't really look um, good on him. But, you know, in certain situations, you know, in the heat of the moment, you never know what's going to happen. At this point, you're trying to defend yourself. Now, I know what many of you are saying or waiting for me to say, Tarian. If he had just not had been around with um, those white women, that thing that this would not have happened. That is true. But I've got to be completely and 100 percent honest. This could have happened with any woman of any background. Remember, I just did a video about Salim Akil where you have this uh, black woman. Or as some people was are saying, this biracial woman. But let's be clear here: if you was to see her, you would all you wouldn't say that she you. Many of you wouldn't even say that she was biracial if y'all didn't know anything about her background. Or you had the incident with Ray Rice and his wife Janae Rice, and we all know Janae is um black, and a host of other situations to name. But we know who is notorious for doing something like this. 
And if he had assaulted probably a, a black woman, well, they probably would have got something on him, too, because he was an NFL player. Hell, even Tupac fell into the same situation back in the day. And many of you who were around back then know exactly what story I'm talking about. He actually ended up serving jail time behind a lie. And she was black. And, that's a, and you know, that was a shame in, in and of itself. But anyway, back to this story right here. So they got his side of the story. And then it just kind of got swept under the rug. This is my first time actually hearing this sto about the story. For many of us, it's the first time hearing about it. That's why many of us thought it was very recent. So to find out it happened back in February, which was pretty much during their off season, the off season had just began for many of them, you know, they uh, decided, you know, to like kind of sweep this under the rug. But where Kareem Hunt messed up, and which is why the NFL had to let him go, is because he lied. The he, what the story that he told did not line up, which was shown on these the surveillance footage, and that's why he was released. If he had told the truth about what happened, they probably would have been able to figure out a way to rectify the situation, and he probably would have still been on the team. Based on what I've heard, they said that his stats were very phenomenal. Like he was one of the best players in the league. Um, I, you know, I'm not watching the NFL. But people have said that the, the Chiefs have a very uh, decent season going right now. Now they're just going to have to do it without him. And now, that, now they're probably scrambling to see who they're going to replace him with, especially this late in the season. Because they're getting ready to end their, their, their season run. They're getting, they'll be in postseason soon. So they got to find a way. You know, they're going to have to scramble if they can even do it. But now he has been released from the team. And I noticed something. And this goes back to the pocket watching video that I did. When they were talking about him as a player and, you know, talking about his stats and whatnot, why the hell did they have to mention how much he like how much his contract is for four years? They put down everything down to the last dollar of how much this man is making per year. They this, this is what it says. Hunt is 23 years old, led the league in rushing last season as a rookie and currently ranks fifth in the league in rushing in the second year of a four year contract that pays him an average of $610,625 per season. Why did they have to mention how much he was making? This goes back to, like I said, that pocket watcher video. Whenever you have a successful black person, they always have to mention how much money you're making. Had this been a white player, they would not have said that. They would just mention his stats and left it at that. But they had to mention, oh, this is how much he was making per, per uh, season. That was none of their business. But then again, it adds that blow. That's how much he's going to be losing. And this was a four year contract. So he was in his what his second year of his contract. And now that's all gone and probably not going to return. Look at Ray Rice's situation. He got kicked off. He got practically blackballed from the NFL banned like they no team was going to pick him up like he was probably before Colin Kaepernick was in the worst position as an NFL player. And then Colin Kaepernick happened. And now Ray Rice is like, he, he can't play in the NFL again. He even trained in everything, to, hopes to get back on the team, but that didn't happen. And what people were really mad at is when his wife stuck by his side after what happened with them in that elevator. And, you know, them feminists was trying to say you need to leave him. But she was like, no, because she knew the part that she played in it. She, she she said that even though this was a very, you know, messed up thing, she said she had to, she she womaned up and admitted that she contributed to it which a lot of women won't do and they were mad at that they were mad that she actually admitted to what she did and stayed with him that's why them feminists especially them white ones they black women they are not your friends not your friends because they will set they will try to sabotage everything but you, like i said that's what happened with uh ray rice now this guy now him on the other hand i don't know what he's going to do you know all of this is out there. He's probably going to lose all endorsements. He's definitely lost his position on the team. They'll probably, like, you know, give him the rest of his contract. And, you know, that'll be that. And they said that they could have rectified the situation. But because he lied and didn't tell them what happened and this came out, it put the, the and not only the NFL, but their team in a very tight situation. 
But I can't help but think that if this was a white player, they would have treated this a whole lot different. Look at what happened with Josh Brown. If y'all don't remember, Josh Brown was the former kicker for the uh, New York Giants. He was abusing his wife off and on for years until that one day there was a call that was sent to the house and the phone picked up. I don't know who picked it up. And you can hear Josh Brown in the background beating the hell out of his wife while his kids was in the background yelling for their dad to stop. And that's what exposed him. But they didn't they were not quick to let him go. You even had that tap dancing, reeking Victor Cruz coming out and trying to protect him. I'm like, so now you're condoning domestic violence because, you know, you know, it's a teammate. I didn't forget what Victor Cruz did. And I think Victor Cruz had did something that was going against some other black person or something like that. He was quick to throw them under the bus. But when it came to Josh Brown, oh, we got to rally around our kicker, the white kicker. I mean, he practically kicked his wife to um and beat her ass. But, you know, we got to protect him because we need him. Then eventually he had to come to his senses and snap back into reality and realize what he was doing was messed up. Because I think people started to get in his ass, and rightfully so. And then that's when he was like, you know what, maybe let me let me scale back a little bit. I have a very good memory. I may talk about a lot of things, but if it's something that really stands out to me, I'll remember it. And bring y'all back up to speed, because some of y'all might forget. But yeah, they handled that with kid gloves. They didn't immediately release Josh Brown because of that. And his was more recent. Because th- that audio came out, and they sat on that for almost a month. Or some change before they let him go. And that was very recent. So yeah, the NFL be knowing. A lot of these organizations be knowing about the stuff that's going on. It's just that they handle it differently depending on who the person is. But yeah, if what they're saying is true, uh, Kareem Hunt, him not telling the truth is what led to him getting released. He, like I said, he should have just told them, been up front, told the truth about what happened that night. Whatever they had in this video, I don't know what he told them. I'm, I'm looking through the article and I'm trying to see what did he tell, like, what did he tell them? Like, he could have told them what happened right here and he probably would have been good. But now that you lied, it makes it puts you in a ver- in an even more worse position. But you know what it is, what it is. You live and you learn. Hopefully he learns. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.